Hey folks, if you're like me, you love QuickBooks Online, but you hate doing data entry. And uh, I have an app that I use called 2QBO Convert Pro. I'll put the link uh, below on the video and in the description. And what I do with this application is I'll take a bank statement that's on PDF format. So for example, let's say I have a bank or a credit card statement in PDF. And for whatever reason, I couldn't connect it through the bank with QuickBooks directly, maybe because it's more than 90 days worth of transactions, maybe it's old from last year, maybe the account was closed, maybe I don't know the username and password and I can't connect it through QuickBooks Online directly. So what I do is I take those PDF bank statements and I convert them to a format called WebConnect or .QBO. And with that format, I can upload it into QuickBooks Online and use it through bank feeds. So let me show you what I mean. So when you're setting up QuickBooks for the first time, usually we go into the banking tab on the left-hand side and we click on this connect button. But the caveat is with that connect button, you have to have uh, your username and password to the bank and you can only get the last 90 days worth. So what we wanna do is we wanna upload uh, the transactions manually. Now, in some cases, you will be able to download that CSV or .QBO file from the bank directly. So if you have access to the bank and you have a bank account that's not closed and all that stuff, you should be able to download it manually. And you don't need any special conversion software to upload it through here. However, when you're dealing with, I only got a statement in PDF format, I have to now get all this information convert it into a format that QuickBooks can, can uh, import. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you how this works real quick. So I have this program called 2QBO Convert Pro installed in my computer. And I'm going to show you the PDF statement that I was just showing you just now. This is the PDF statement that I'm going to now uh, drag over to the software so I can convert it to a format that QuickBooks can import. So I'm going to grab that PDF statement drag it over to the software. And then what you're gonna notice is the software is automatically going to pop up a screen that tells you, this is what I read. Okay, so it's got all the dates, it's got all the transactions. Up here in the top right, it will get tell you what the beginning balance, ending balance, total debits, total credits is, and it tells you whether or not, just through the reading of the statement, it recognizes it to be complete. And, and in some cases it'll be complete, some cases you're gonna have to manually figure out the differences. But for most, situations where your bank statement is a digital PDF that you downloaded through the bank or you got emailed, whatever it happens to be, this reads really, really well. If any of these uh, particular things you don't understand, you can actually click on the little magnifying glass next to it and you will have the statement pop up on the screen with a yellow highlight exactly of that what transaction is. So if it doesn't seem to have read it correctly or maybe there's some uh, lines or markings or smooches on the PDF that you scan, you know, that's not going to be a perfect read, but you're able to see it right there on the spot. And then down here in the bottom, you can choose what each of these columns means. So that's the date, that's the payee, that's the amount, that's the memo, etc. So you can change it if the software doesn't detect it automatically. There's a couple other really neat things on this software. It's this one called payee cleanup settings. When you click on that, you can actually remove some extra information that you don't want. For example, I have it set up to remove words that are dates. I have I can set it to remove the two letter state abbreviations. So notice that you got here in New York and Florida, notice this two here. So when I actually click on that little checkbox here, those two things go away. So that's great. So you can start actually cleaning up some of this data so you're not bringing all this extra junk into QuickBooks. So you get sort of double advantage. You can you can get your PDF statements into QuickBooks and you can also clean it up so you don't get garbage in it. So you can actually double click on any of these as well and edit them on the fly, which is great for uh, checks. You know, when you are scanning a bank statement and you have checks, usually don't have, you don't have the payee ne uh, name next to it. So you can actually transcribe the payee names right here on this screen. And when they come into QuickBooks, they come in with the payee names already. So that will really speed up your uh, data entry uh, process. You can also notice here on the right side, you can remove numbers that start with a hashtag, remove phone numbers. So all these things that I click are going to clean up the data that's going to go into QuickBooks. That payee cleanup is actually not required, but it's actually a really neat uh, feature. And then lastly, right here where it says uh, set QuickBooks account info, this is where we're going to tell uh, the software 
how is the data going to be read when it comes into QuickBooks? So you must tell it, it is a credit card or it is a bank statement because it can do both credit cards and bank statements. You have to tell it which is the FID, which is basically tech talk for which is the bank, right? So we're going to click on look up here and we can type uh, Chase, whatever the bank happens to be. And you just select uh, the one that fits the bill. And that's going to put that FID number there, which basically means which is the bank or as QuickBooks understands, which is the bank code. And then here under account number, you're actually going to put your credit card number, your bank account number. And that's important. So QuickBooks understands which uh, bank it's going to connect it to. And as you do this uh, month to month, if you are doing it for multiple months, QuickBooks also needs to know that it's the same account that you're dealing with. So you have to use the same account consistently for QuickBooks to understand that these are all belonging to the same account. Anyway, I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to click this button here that says convert to QBO. Notice that there's an option to convert to CSV, which is really awesome. You can take the PDF statement and convert it into CSV that allows you to open it in Excel. You can also tweak it, make some changes in Excel and bring it back into this software. So if you're really an advanced Excel user and you have hundreds or thousands of transactions to enter, you probably want to do some cleanup in Excel. And I'll put a, a link in the description of a video where I can explain what that process looks like. It's like an hour, one hour long video, so you can check that out. So I'm going to click uh, on Create QBO. That is going to create a, a QBO file, as you see here. That's what I'm going to upload into QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to click on that, uh, go back into QuickBooks Online. And again, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to that place that says Upload Statements. So I'm going to click on Browse. And I'm going to go ahead and select uh, that uh, QBO file. This is the one that we just converted. And it's going to be on the same folder where the PDF was. So I'm going to select that and hit open. And then we go down to next. Then it's going to tell you what it read. So it looks, look, it looks like I read this account. So that gives you a good idea. That's the account that I entered manually on the software. So I'm going to select which account from my chart of accounts it is. So it happens to be this uh, Chase Visa credit card that I have set up. And that's how I map it. Tell it that, that those transactions are going to go into that account, then I'm going to click on next. And then once they're all downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and click on let's go. And it's going to take me into my bank feeds uh, window. Now I'm going to just do a couple just to show you. So for example, this one came in as Comcast, all the memo comes in straight from the bank. So I don't have to waste my time uh, typing this information in there. The date came in and the amount came in. So at this point, I just create the payee if it's not already in my system. So I'm going to create uh, Comcast. So it's in my permanent database as my vendor list. And I add it to QuickBooks and I select the category, whatever it happens to be, utilities, and I click on add. And I'm going to go down the list and categorize all those transactions like that. I'm going to post another video below in the description that kind of, it's like a 30 minute video that explains this whole bank feeds process because that's a whole nother ball game here so you so we'll you check that out if you you know once you get the conversion going then you want to understand how to classify check that video out and lastly how to purchase uh the program so you're going to go to www.2quickbooks.com and once you go to www.2quickbooks.com it's going to forward you to the page that contains all the different options of the money thumb software that converts into QuickBooks. The one that I use is, of course, <laughs> the most expensive one, uh, which is about $350, is this one here called 2QVO Convert Pro. Once you click on that one, and that one kind of has all the bells and whistles, it can convert PDF, scanned, it can convert CSV, it can do everything. And that's, a, that's an unlimited license. And you do have to pay an annual uh, fee. So I'm gonna select here Windows and select uh, here PDF bundle. You do pay that, you have a limited license, but you do have to pay an annual fee of, I believe it's about a hundred bucks to maintain the ability to do PDF reading uh, because the software gets updated all the time with new statements and new, uh, new formats that your software needs to have in the database in order to read all sorts of different banks and credit card statements. So it is a, it is a pretty big investment. You're gonna spend 350 bucks to, to get the software, but it works as advertised, so um, so I wanted to uh, clarify that. And yes, I was paid by the by the app developer to make this video, but I use it myself in my practice. There's my email in the bottom of the screen. If you have any questions about it, I will gladly answer it. If you don't want to purchase the software, maybe you just want to use my firm to do the conversion for you, because maybe you have a one-time project. Email me, and we'll give you a quote on that. 
I'm a big fan of not doing manual data entry or keying in things into QuickBooks desktop or online, whatever it happens to be manually. So I always look for all sorts of ways to import data into QuickBooks. And in the last five years, this has by far been the best application, the best tool I have ever used for that. So check them out, uh, twoquickbooks.com. It should take you straight into the page where you can pick. Uh, the one that I use is called 2QBO Convert Pro and happy converting.